to my channel. I am here with a collaboration, which is the Galentine's collaboration. It's hosted by myself, and who's participating is Turtle Creations for You in Crafting with Ivy. I will have their information down, linked down below in the description bar. And um, this collaboration was basically a continuation of my Love Space Challenge. So we just decided to call it Galentine's. Um, it wasn't required that you had to do a Valentine's Day project. So I'm creating Valentine's Day. So I, f I decided to do um, Valentine's Day. I don't know what everybody else is doing, but um, let me tell you something. These projects are a labor of love. When I say I worked on these projects all week, I worked on these projects all week. So I'm going to show you two projects in this video. I usually show you the products at, like, you know, I'll usually have it up, but I will let you know that I use the, um, this paper um tales of you and me so as i show you things i can still pick them out because my desk looks a mess but anyway let's move right along i hope everybody's having a blessed saturday and let's go on so the first thing i um, made was this altered pizza box this is how it looks and it's matted all over it's matted on the bottom i put feet on here so it can sit on this it's so stinky cute off I, I just love the way um it came out basically i used the the tails of you and me and then i used this um this color paper right here let me get it for you is this paper this color and it's a cartabella paper is really sturdy i use that and i use um some wild orchid flowers i use my um spectrum noir ruby to um actually mark the outside of this and i use my handy dandy glitter glue from studio g i think this is a wood piece this is a wood piece that my friend donna gave me hey zada the night crafter <laughs> here on the yt um this is some lace from hobby lobby these are some beads from hobby lobby small and big these drops i don't know who oh i know who gave them to me Soraya. Hey, Soraya. She gave those to me in the embellishment kit. This is a spray from Hobby Lobby. It's from the wedding section. Um, yeah, and this bow right here is also from Soraya. So, I am using my embellishment <laughs> kit, girl. So, like I said, this is how it looks. And I just love the way it came out. So, if you open it, this is how it looks. On the top hopefully you guys can see that I spray painted it white um this is gonna close like this I'm gonna put a card or make a card I didn't have time yet to make the card but um whoever wins this will have a card in here um basically I use some trim I think I got this off of eBay a long long time ago and this is how it looks and I just flipped it up here goes some rock orchid craft flowers here, some recollection flowers. This is the smallest bow from Pink and Maine. This is another wood veneer that Donna gifted me, and she also gifted me this paper. So thank you so much, girl. I'm using the stuff that you gave me. So basically, um, I made it simple. So whoever gets this, if they want to re-gift this to somebody, they can add their own personal touch to it. So let me show you guys what's what's inside of here so first things first they would get some flat back pearls so that would be the first thing you'll get then you'll get these three things of washi tape that i did haul then you'll get some flowers some wild orchid crap craft flowers and some recollection flowers this is the large pink and main bow the stitch with the tails down so I thought that would be cute. Then you also get some of that lace that I put in there. Then I made some more bows. And you could just put some gems in there. You have to get some word towels. You know, I always, 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 always use these on my projects. I made a special sequin mix 
and it matches the paper. And I thought that was good. So you got a sequin mix to do whatever you want to do with it. So um, let me show you really quickly the dye. I use this, the bag from this. And so I gifted, ooh, I gifted three um, bags they could put together. This is like the little coin die from Tim Holtz as well. And I gifted three of these. This is that little topper from Auntie Allie from Alina Craft Shop. I cut out two in this color and two in pattern paper. So you have four toppers. And this is that um, tag die. And I cut it out three times. This is the largest one. You can use it and embellish it. These hearts are from another project, but I'll show you that project after this project. So I figure you can use these hearts and embellish with it. Then um, somebody gifted me these rosettes in the swap. So only thing I did was take my heart die that, you know, for this size and I just cut them out and I replaced them like this. So you can use these on a project. Then I cut down the paper to six by six and you will have like um, 12 different papers and they double sided. So they all 12 different paper six by six because the box is seven by seven. So I wanted to make sure it fit right inside the box. So this is what you'll be getting if you won if you win this and then let me show you the little doodad thing so you will get a, a wood veneer some bows a little rose ceramic rose you got some beads you have another piece of jewelry hopefully it's not no glare you can see that you have some flat bags and then this pretty um this is a piece from a necklace and I thought it goes really well with the collection and they have a spray in here. So you'll be getting that. So let's pack this. Really good. Really nice. Mm -hmm. I'm just super excited. Whoever gets this. Just want to make sure everything's in there. Like super duper 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 side. Ecstatic. I had this in here nice and neatly. Hopefully everything will still fit in here. This was here and then this was here, right? I think everything is back in here. Like I said, it will be a card in here. I'm not going to write in it. It's gonna be a card. You can use it, like I said, if you want to re-gift this or have it or whatever you want to do with it. I made this so everything that you can use for yourself or gift it. So that is project number one. Project number two, I was inspired by um, Adriana Avarez. She's on YouTube. No, sorry, Instagram. And I was flipping through her page and I seen a foul and I said, OMG, that foul is amazing. And I wondered where did she get the foul from? She has a silhouette like me. So I'm like, I need to get that foul. So I was scrolling through the comments and I found the foul and I bought the foul. And let me tell you, I I just have to show you and then I I show you what I did differently. So this is it. Hopefully, I can't show. Okay, this is it. This is a 3D rack, quilt rack. It's supposed to be for a rack, quilt rack, right? Hers was like this, but she had, like, she stitched everything, and it was, like, pastel colors and everything, and then she had made uh, different toppers. This topper I actually made from a piece that goes inside of here. I just used it because, you know, Valentine's Day hearts and he has hearts here and stuff so i actually made these toppers for whoever will receive this so then i made this bow this bow is absolutely gorgeous i'm gonna have to get that glue off of here but i have to be real careful 
because I don't want nothing to come off. I made this bow a while ago. And here, um, hopefully, guys, this is probably not doing any justice. So I'm going to show you. Um, I put some flat back gems in here. So this is basically an embellishment rack. I basically did. She did embellishments. I did embellishment racks. And then all of this, whoever gets this, whenever I decide to give this one away, um, they could just peel it. All of them can peel. And then she they can use it, sit on their desk, and keep it moving. Then I use, you know, my word towels. I always got to gift those. Then some pink bows. Thought that was really cute. Then you got some heart appliques with bows in it. I think it's six in here. You got some wild orchid craft flowers. And then I made a, a sequin mix as well. This one is, is different from that one. But I thought it came out super duper cute. And um, somebody, a, a couple of people, if you on my Instagram, you've seen this already. A couple of people asked me to do a, a tutorial, but I'm trying to figure out how to do... I know how to do it, but I need to figure out... You know, just do a, a mock-up if you don't have a cutting machine. And then the file. I'm pretty sure I can share the file because I manipulated the file. I made these toppers and stuff like that. But at the end of this video, I will have like still pictures of this so you can see it because... The way that this angle is, is not doing justice, and I love it. And this thing sits right up here, and I can give you the dimensions of this thing. Okay, so it sits um, seven and a half, yeah, seven and a half inches tall. Um, then it is, maybe if I have my ruler right, then I can really... It is seven and three quarters or seven and seven eighths, seven and three quarters long and about three and about two and three fourths wide. And this thing is so sturdy and I, and you can sit it right on your desk. So, um, yeah, this is what was inspired this week and I loved it. I was going to give it away as a pair, but I'm like, why? Because I already put all the embellishments there and there. Let me stop babbling on because I've finally done this collaboration. So anyway, here are the rules for this collaboration. Like this video. You must be a subscriber. And go hop to the other two people. It's not that many people. And subscribe to their channel as well. I will be picking the winner. One week from today, which will be the 8th, maybe? The 8th. I think it's the 8th. Whatever next Saturday is, I will be picking a winner, and I will be mailing this pizza box out to them. Um, It's only U.S. only. I'm sorry for my international subbies. But, um, you know what? Matter of fact, I can make this international. No problem. I can mail this international. It doesn't matter. So, um, like I said, dislike, comment, make a comment down below and tell me what was your favorite thing or element that you liked of the project that I made. Um, yeah. Um, I'll be wanting to do more collaborations like this, like inspire, you know, just women inspiring each other. Um, so, guys, with that being said, um, I love you for free, and there's nothing you can do about it. Until next time. Bye.